Okay, so for this sort of video, we're going to go through some basic commands building on our knowledge of um, Cisco IOS. Um, so for this sort of activity, we're just simply going to connect a PC to a switch. We're going to go through the help commands, how to make sort of life easier for us down the road. Um, and we are going to set the clock um, on the switch. Okay, so as we sort of discussed previously, at the bottom here we have all the different devices we can we can use so we've got routers switches hubs um, and then at the top we've got network devices um, and devices such as pcs laptops and servers okay so for this activity we're going to use a switch so the 2960 is the most common one um, and a pc so if we get them two two on there okay so if we click hover over the switch we can see all the ports available um, so it's got 24 fast ethernet ports um, 2 gigabit ethernet ports and a, and a VLAN uh, port um, and the PC if we hover over that it's got a fast ethernet connection and Bluetooth currently okay so if we just connect the PC to the switch by this console cable uh, the, the blue one so we connect it via the, the RS-232 port um, and into the console um, port. Now you can connect it to the fast ethernet port, however it, it won't work um, in terms of open up, open up an app or being accessed by the, by the terminal. So if we go on to the, the PC, um, now in in a normal scenario, if this was in a real life where you were physically had the, the, the kit in front of you, you'd be using um, an application called Putty or, or TerraTerm, which is a terminal emulator, and, and that sort of um, acknowledges the connections between the two devices. Um, but um, just sort of in this simulation environment, um, we just have the, the, the icons in front of us that... That, that, that you can see um, that we can have a play around with. Okay, so if you click on terminal, um, you can see sort of a bit of data here. So the by default, the, the bits per, sec per second connection um, on Cisco devices is 9600. Um, so we keep that the same. Um, this can be edited um, in, in, a, in a physical world, depending on the type of, of hardware you're using. Um, so, like I said, by default, um, the, the switch is loaded here. Um, and we sort of press enter to get started. You'll notice that it says switch. And then um, sort of wh where we are now is we're in um, user mode. So this, we're limited to the amount of things we can we can do in this mode. As we move through um, the different commands of so going down, we can, we can do more things. Um, more things are available for us to do. Okay, so starting with sort of some basic um, sort of help or, or cheats, I suppose, or, or shortcuts. Um, if we want to know what commands are available at each line, um, we, we can simply, um, for example, put E and a question mark. So that shows us that at this, this stage, beginning with letter E, we've only got enable or exit. From there, you can, um, if you put EN and question mark, you've only got enable. Um, and if, you, if I put EX and question mark, and you've only got exit. So what a sort of a cheat is, what, what you'll see in a lot of uh, sort of instructional videos is, is the use of the tab key. So if you've got only one word available on the tab, uh, on the command list, um, you can simply press tab and it auto um Auto completes the sentence. So, if, if for example, if I did the en, I've only got that available to me and enable, and then that minute moves me down to the bottom. Sorry, the next line. Um, so, for example, again on this this next line here, we're in uh, privilege mode here now. So we should have more things available to us. So C question mark gives us these clear clock configure connect copy. Um, so you might see in a lot of videos. Um, C O N um, question mark. Oops. C O N question mark um, gives configure or connect. Now, if I try and tab now, it's just not it's not completing it because um, there's two 
two commands available. So if I put if I put the F, then it's you know it's in tab, then it's completing that sentence. Okay, so a common one is is configure terminal, um, and again that moves us down to the next stage, which is in sort of global configuration mode. Okay, so if I just sort of go back and, and run through that again, so what I'm doing now is I'm pressing exit to move up to the previous line and starting again. So commonly we go enable, um, configure terminal, and that's moved us from, so a configure terminal means we're connecting to this switch via, via, via terminal, um, so the console um, cable. Um, we've moved from um, user mode to privileged exec mode to global configuration mode. So that's sort of where the symbol after the word switch has changed. Um, okay, so the activity um, in terms of setting the, the clock, um, we're going to run through that now. So if I go exit, exit again, so start from the beginning um, and I can press question mark. Um, so that's giving us all the commands available at that level. Um, so as we can see, uh, clock's not available there. But if I go to the next level, um, obviously we've got more commands as we go down. As things get a bit more serious, you, you'll see um, clock is, is available at this level and also show is available. So pressing enter um, through when you've got more commands on, on each page, um, goes through the next one down and pressing space uh, brings the whole list out. Okay, so if we if we want to show clock, um, we have the sort of de default date and time set in there, which is obviously um, incorrect unless um, um, we've been sent from the future and we're watching this video in, in 1993, which is it's unlikely, but it's possible. Anything's possible these days. Um, so what I want to do now is I want to set the clock um, to sort of today's date and time. So how I can do this is I can press, press clock space question mark and that then says set set the time and date. Okay, so if I then go further and put clock set, it's showing the sort of format um, of, of where we want this to be. So, so clock set and then I want to go sort of nine... Let's we'll call it 9.38, so 9.38 and then zero seconds, and question mark. So I've, I've, I'm sort of setting the time there, and then the month is February. Okay, so again, question mark, now it's saying, so make sure you put in space question mark to get the, get the next sort of um, data that we need to put in, and the, and the day of the month today is the 11th. Okay, so again, question mark, and now it's asking for the year, which is not 1993, it's 2021. So again, question mark, and it's saying that's the end of the of the command, so we can press enter, and that, as as it stands, is the, is the clock setting. So an, another sort of trick to run through our commands without changing the level is I can, I can press the up key um, and, and down key to go through the, the commands I've used. Um, so if I show clock again now, we've got today's date and time, so it's 9.38. Um, seconds have moved since I've done that. Um, and the time is, uh, sorry, the day, day is Thursday and it's February the 11th, 2021. Okay, so that's how to set, set the clock um, on a switch. Um, and also some of the sort of cheat, cheat commands and, and, and pieces to, to sort of save your time um, in the future. Okay.